Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about this, this dual monitor desk setup and how I've sort of optimized it for my life. I film YouTube videos with the setup. I work from home with the setup. I browse questionable website with the setup. But that's really nobody's business. So, you know, let's just get started. Starting, of course, with the desk. This is the Upspell gaming desk from Ikea. I got the larger size, the 1.8 meter one, because I knew I was going to be putting a lot of stuff on here. It's a solid desk for the price. It doesn't wobble too much, which is a problem with some of the standing desks. Uh, the black matches the overall theme I got going on in the room with the cabinet on on the left. The only problem is that I usually can't raise the desk all the way up because of this softbox. So when I'm standing, I'm usually in a rather compromised position. By now you probably noticed this awkward gap in the middle and that's on purpose because I can just slide my desk mat in and this frees up space for me to start working on my iPad, uh, read or eat while watching an episode of Friends. This was a good example of me having to compromise between form and function because I used to have a desk shelf in the middle here and it looked a lot better, but with the two 32 inch monitors, the speakers and the camera stand, I just couldn't make it work. Onto the monitors. So I have two Apple Pro Display XDRs, but before you say, oh my God, Jeff is such a rich spoiled brat and click off this video, let me explain. I got this main one 50% off because a good buddy of mine moved to Singapore and he didn't want to bring it. And I got this one on the side 77% off because there's a huge crack that goes across the entire screen. But other than that, it works just fine. For me, this dual monitor setup, one horizontal right in front of me and one vertical off to the side has been amazing. Uh, when I'm in meetings, I'm facing the Logitech webcam that's magnetically mounted on top of the display, uh, meeting notes document open on the side, and a messaging platform on the top left. When I'm filming videos like I am right now, I'm sometimes recording the main screen. I have my script off to the side and to do is open on the top left. I personally use the Mac app Moom to snap windows into predetermined locations, but a free alternative for Mac users is Rectangle. Below the main monitor, I have the Audio Engine A2 Plus in white, and it kills me just a little bit inside to have these not completely symmetrical. But again, it's a trade-off I had to make to have the vertical monitor closer to the main monitor and keep the gap in the middle. Moving on to the peripherals. I recently upgraded from the Logitech MX Master 3 to the 3S for a very, very good reason. And that's because um, the white matched everything else. Uh, that's it. I like the MX Keys Mini a lot more than the mechanical version. I can't really type on that one. And it's just the right size for all three peripherals to fit on the desk mat perfectly. Also, thanks to those of you who told me to use the new Logi Options Plus app. It's a lot better than the old one. For the mouse, I have the side buttons assigned to uh, Mission Control and Show slash uh, Hide Desktop. Bluetooth the uh, connection has been extremely reliable, so I didn't even have to use the Bolt USB adapter that comes with the newer Logitech products. I have the Apple Magic Trackpad 2, uh, even though the 3S has both vertical and horizontal scrolling, simply because you just can't beat the trackpad in terms of smooth scrolling, zooming in, and three finger swiping between desktops. The two Grovemade products I have on this desk are the wool felt desk pad and the laptop uh, dock in walnut. The wool adds a little bit of texture to the setup and the dock not only saves space, but also lets me easily switch out my personal laptop with my work one on the days I'm working from home. To make that possible, I have the Thunderbolt 4 docking station from Kensington, which is hidden behind the vertical monitor. With just one cable, whatever laptop I have plugged in connects to the the two monitors, the webcam, the speakers, and this microphone. By the way, not all laptops can support multiple displays, so make sure your laptop can run dual setups before investing in a dock and nice monitors. Also hidden from sight is the Focusrite 2i2, which essentially allows me to connect this XLR microphone to my laptop via USB. 
The microphone is the Shure SM7B, super popular with a lot of creators because it gives you super clean audio even when the room is not treated for sound. For example, this is how it sounds with the shotgun microphone connected to the camera. And this is how it sounds with the Shure SM7B. This mic stand is the Blue Compass microphone arm. And pro tip, if you want to use a Shure microphone with this stand, you actually need to buy this adapter thingy that extends the length a little bit. Moving over to the other side of the table, I have the Falcam GearTree Desk Studio Set. It has a load capacity of 40 kilograms, so it's extremely solid. I've tried cheaper desk mounts, but none of them could handle the combined weight of a light, a softbox, and a camera. The camera I'm using right now is the Sony A7S III, and the lens is the Sony G Master 24 millimeter, which is perfect for talking at videos. And I have the Rode VideoMic NTG hooked up as a backup mic. The light I'm using is the Amaran 100X uh, with a Selen's 65 centimeter softbox. And the Herman Miller Embody Chair. I've had this for the past three years after also buying a second hand for a steep discount. And the only problem I have with this chair is that it's a little bit hard to clean with the mesh fabric. I'm allergic to dust mites, so I literally vacuum this chair every week and then wipe it down with alcohol wipes. Yes, I am that guy. So I really just wish they could make this in leather. Last but not least, cable management. Uh, I'll link two videos I followed down below, but essentially I just stuck three power strips underneath the table uh, with using double-sided 3M tape so that there's only one cable that runs from the desk to the wall power outlet. The only pro tip I can share that I haven't seen anyone else talk about is to use this specific type of cable clip. I basically stuck a bunch of these underneath the table to wrap extra cable slack around. So that's my dual monitor setup. Let me know if you wanna see more of this. For example, I have an Ikea pegboard uh, cabinet setup that I basically copied from Matthew and Cena. Thank you, Matt. See you on the next video. In the meantime, have a great one.